two years ago, and she went home to Trinidad. I was left here alone. And I am not alone because of all of you guys. And I am so love you. Love you so, Karen. And this message is a message. And my daughter and I could not live here in Tampa without you guys. We just could not do it. So we appreciate you. Um, this is this has been a difficult journey for me. Um, it's been fun putting this event together. It's also been very, very tough. Um, it was her vision. She wrote the nine um, the, the nine oppressions. We sat down and, and while she was in her chemo session, we wrote those oppressions. And uh, to, in 2009, I had the idea to do it then, but it wasn't right. Because tonight it's right. And I would have never been able to fill a room in 2009, but I filled a room now. Come on up here, Gino. Been, has been my journey, but to have a woman take her clothes off in front of a man, a male photographer, would have been extremely difficult in these vulnerable situations. So because I have a female photographer uh, as a partner, that it's, it, it was an opportunity to do things that we could normally could not do. And I, again, I thank you. I have, I don't have any else to say you guys have said it all and tonight is a success because you guys are here and you guys know what's happening and you guys are making a difference just by being here and, and I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those people who suffered need you. Got it? All right, speaking of survivors, this next woman is amazing. You have two choices when something bad happens. You can crumble up and die, or you can choose to fight. And you can choose to bring that message to others, and she has done this in a huge way. She's a radio personality, she's an author, a speaker. She's a childhood sexual violent advocate, Victims to survivors speaking about human trafficking. If you don't think it's real, it's crazy. 
such a big problem you can't even comprehend it because it would not you wouldn't be able to sleep at night if you knew the truth. I'm just gonna bring a friend of hers up and Wendy Vasquez Renes, who's who's the CEO of I Know My Plan, but please welcome right now Ms. Connie Rose. about today is not a beautiful story. It's not something that a lot of you can relate to. But more than you really know today, there's a lot of hands that did not go up. And the reason they did not go up is because you don't want anyone to know about your very dirty little secret. I guarantee you, most of those people in the back that are making noise is because they don't really want to know what the naked truth is about, and they really don't want to know what a dirty secret is about. More importantly, they do not want to know that in Tampa Bay, in our own backyard, on these streets, I personally was sold. And this was over 45 years ago, I was sold by my father. I am a survivor of over 14 years of incest. I am a survivor of being sold on the streets. I am also the daughter of a registered sex offender with over 75 victims, which is what I grew up knowing, because I knew them. About six months ago, I learned that he had more than 300 victims. Most of those victims are right here in Tampa Bay. Wendy Vasquez and I go out and we speak together, and there's a reason that we do that. I give you the story. I give you the power behind what it is to have a voice. Because today is International Women's Day. That means that every single woman has a voice. What Wendy does is she follows me. And how she follows me is with an incredible, incredible plan. Isn't that the name for women? I know my plan. It's to give women and children a plan so that when you're walking through that parking lot, you will take off those six inch heels that you have on and put on a pair of flats. Because when that man comes behind you, and you have the tools that she will give you if you take one of her courses, you will be able to defend yourself. Human trafficking. Human trafficking has become a $32 billion business. It is now far, far succeeding drug trafficking. It's succeeding guns. You want to know why? Look at a woman's body. How many orifices do we have that can be sold 10, 20, 30, 40 times in one night. Imagine, just imagine what it would be like to be an 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 year old girl. Okay, tell me guys, what can you really do with a girl that's an 11 year old? But believe it or not, that is the age that so many girls are being brought in to sex slavery. You know when you walk down Ybor City, and I was one of these, and you would see a girl in a short dress, or you would see her dress provocatively. You know, yes, that is our time. That is how women dress today. That is how teenagers dress today. But have you ever thought that it's really possible that that girl that looks like she's 18, 19, or 20 years old is really 12 or 13. And the reason that she's dressed that way is because her pimp is about a half a block away. And if she doesn't dress that way, and if she doesn't make her quota, which sometimes can be ten or $15,000 a night per girl, she will be beaten. And she will be beaten with what's called a pimp stick. And a pimp stick is nothing but a clothes hanger. Imagine having a wire clothes hanger beat on you time and time again just because you didn't perform the way you were supposed to, just because you didn't make your quota. We have a convention coming up in Tampa Bay. It's called Republican Convention. Just like when we had Super Bowl, the girls are going to be brought in by droves. They're going to be sold over and over and over again. I know what it's like. I know what it's like to have to sit there and literally remove yourself mentally and throw yourself on the ceiling. 
so that you can survive. But the truth of the matter is, you can't survive. The truth of the matter is, that as horrific as an epidemic that this has become in our society, this is America. Think about one thing, and I'm sorry I'm jumping around a little bit, but slavery ended 150 years ago, supposedly. But the truth of the matter is, slavery is still going on today. And how is it going on? Because there are people that have girls that are working in their homes and they're supposed to be the au pairs, but in fact, they're really the man's mistress. She cannot leave. She does not really get any money. Girls that are being sold on the street, they don't have their ID. They have no money. A lot of times they don't even know what city they're in. See, I was lucky because it was my father that sold me. So I was lucky because all I had to do was walk down to the end of my street and get picked up by whoever it was my father sold me to for the night. And I didn't have to sleep with a lot of men all in one night. But the other side of it is, I'm also very lucky because I have a voice, and that's what today is about. Today is about educating you. Today is about letting you know that you have to make a difference. We have that convention coming. Do you really want 35,000 girls coming into Tampa to be sold during the Republican convention? Do you really want to have to worry about your own daughters? Because they're going to get picked up. Okay, They're going to get picked up by a pimp. And what he's going to do, he's going to tell her, you know, your mom said you couldn't have acrylic nails and you want to go to this party? Guess what? I'm going to buy them for you. And you know that dress you wanted? You're going to have it. That's part of a grooming process. And I could go on for hours really telling you what you need to do. What I will tell you is that we put information around for you so that if you want to know more about what is going on in the Tampa Bay community, what you can do to help us, because it's not, it's gonna take an army to do this. It's not one person that can do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the mic over to, to uh, Wendy Vasquez from I Know My Plan, and then I'm gonna speak a little bit after she's done, because it is imperative.